in this section we will talk about automation um, which is yet another 5g enabling technology uh, 5g needs to support the rapid scaling up and down and uh, life cycle management of network applications uh, and these life cycle management applications uh, tasks include turn up down upgrade uh, logging and etc uh, automation technologies for orchestration can help achieve these goals uh, because uh, the need is since 5G embraces microservices based architecture, uh, we have a lot more components now that are independently running and we really need uh, automation to manage those components. Otherwise, it will become very hard to efficiently manage them uh, manually. So uh, that's why we need uh, automation technologies for orchestration. So far, SON capabilities have been uh, leveraged on the RAN side. Uh, if you look about uh, 4G, uh, there was the concept of automatic neighbor relations, ANR, and this was a SON uh, methodology, self-optimizing network uh, capability uh, that was available on the RAN side, and it worked in conjunction with the MME, uh, but was still mostly a RAN feature. Uh, not much in terms of automation was uh, standardized by 3GPP on the core side. Uh, this is different from uh, 5G, where a lot more emphasis has been done on building automation right on the core network as well. Uh, operators have been ex uh, have seen accelerated rollout times, simplified uh, network upgrades, fewer dropped calls, uh, improved call setup success rates among positive impacts of the uh, SON capabilities uh, in the RAN side. So gradually there is, uh, uh, and logically there is a great deal of interest to implement SON automation on the core side as well to leverage some of these benefits. Uh, 5G is a unique architecture that is service-based and built on top of microservices like we have seen. Uh, this offers a unique opportunity to leverage automation to manage life cycle of applications and infrastructure resources. So you're not just managing applications, but you are also managing the infrastructure running these applications. So this is the key to understand. Uh, yeah, you're, you're not just managing applications because the applications, uh, keeping applications healthy by itself is not... Uh, is not does not solve your problems you really need to keep both uh, applications and the infrastructure life cycle uh, in check and make sure everything is healthy such capabilities are essential for leveraging 5g use cases uh, that way that demand varying uh, demands and requirements obviously like we have seen the three cases they have different sets of requirements uh, also in addition machine learning uh, and artificial intelligence will become further integrated across all aspects of mobile systems in the near future. Uh, yeah, as, as the complexities in the network increases, we have more microservices, uh, we have more complex APIs, um, and the, the infrastructure resources also increase, um, and all these applications become intertwined. Uh, we will definitely uh, need machine learning and AI uh, to effectively manage these networks. So this uh, uh, this lecture wraps up our uh, discussion about all the 5G enabling technologies that have been embraced by 3GPP. So we talked about automation, we talked about virtual machines, we talked about containers um, and uh, and in software defined networking to some extent, microservices. So all these things in uh, combination have been adopted in 5G. In the next section, we will delve more into the 5G specific uh, core architecture, and uh, we will see how each of these technologies is applied to the individual uh, network functions.